lovelies welcome back to my channel if you are new here i hope you enjoy this content check out some of my other content and definitely subscribe to my channel make sure you give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below so today's video i am doing a review of a dip powder kit it is gershon's dip powder nail starter kit and the kit color is p as in paul zero five so it's Gershon's Starter Kit in P05. I have added this to my Amazon storefront and I'll also leave the name of the kit in the description box below. So I'm just gonna unbox the kit now and then um, I'm gonna do an application of the nails. I mean, an application of the dip on my nails. So basically what I have on my nails now is, you guys have seen me do this before, I attach the Gel X dupes from AliExpress with acrylic um so the last time i did that was in a stiletto shape these are the extra extra long coffins so i've had these on for about a week and a half and then i applied the nails and then i did a couple layers of clear acrylic as dip powder to kind of reinforce them a little bit and um so i'm just going to go over these nails with um the dip powder from this kit so the kit comes with five different liquids, half ounce bottles each. You get the brush saver, the activator, the base coat, the top coat, and you also get a primer. And then you get four colors in the kit. So I will show you the colors by flipping over. You can see the numbers. I do not believe Gershon sells their powders individually, so I don't really think those numbers matter. Um, you also get an instruction booklet. It says a three. this is a three-in-one dip powder. So it gives you instructions on how to use it with acrylic and the dual forms, and then it gives you instructions on how to do an um, the regular dip powder application. It says three in one, but it only gives you two different ways, so don't know about that. Um, you also get the cuticle oil, the brush, um, or orange wood stick, and a thank you card. So I'm gonna go in with the base coat and the dip powder so when i was opening these i initially noticed that this dip powder isn't as finely milled as a lot other dip powders this is kind of gritty um and you'll kind of see if the, the well the camera might pick up on some instances where it is a little gritty but we'll talk about that throughout the video um i am going in <laughs> with the second coat now and initially I did like the applicator and the resin or the base coat it's kind of thick but it's not too too thick so it's a good medium um, consistency I like a little bit thicker because it picks up a little bit more of that powder and you can see here like off the first dip I did get a lot of coverage so um the second dip, I feel like it may or may not have been optional, just how smooth and um, you did your application. So it is, um, so I do like the liquids. I'm not really there on the powders yet. So I, they did say that this is a three in one. So I'm just going to do a couple, um, just do an acrylic swatch and then just pick up the beads. And you can see this is kind of a chalky, um, chalkier acrylic. Again, it's kind of gritty. It's not finely milled. So I believe that makes a difference with the monomer. And the monomer that I'm using is Young Nails um, monomer. And you can see like how it picks up. It picks up really gritty. So there I just added a little bit more liquid to it. And for the most part, these colors didn't um, marble with the exception of the blue. And I'll show you that in a second. I feel like um, if you absolutely wanted to use these as an acrylic, you would probably just work a little bit wetter or you can mix in some clear acrylic and just um, mix that in really well to kind of get a little bit of that chalkiness out of it. So this applies teal with monomer, but you can kind of see that blue underneath. And I'll show you again, when you pick up the blue, the top of the bead is blue but underneath the bead, it's more of a teal color. So that one um, 
it's just up to your liking how you would use it if you wanted to use it with monomer. So I just actually want to see how this spread. So I'm just grabbing a swatch stick and I'm just working a little wet in order to get that to smooth out. So you can absolutely use this as an acrylic. You're just gonna have to play with the consistency just a little bit. And um, it did dry fine. I know sometimes we're doing dip powders as acrylic, they don't dry, but um, it did dry fine. It did cure all the way or dry all the way. I didn't have a problem with that. So that's that as far as using this dip powder as an acrylic. And I'm going to show you the colors, all of the colors in a second. And here you can kind of see it's a little gritty. And so you can kind of tell it wasn't mixed very, very well. Okay, so these are all the colors. I think I'm going to use, well, I don't think, I know. I ended up using the gray and the blue for my nails today so this little dip powder thing i did get in another kit i looked for this this little dip powder tray um online and i could not find it i like it a lot when i'm doing the long nails um sometimes you can use the cupcake tin or just dip it in the jar oh by the way these are one ounce jars of acrylic or dip powder um, but I find with the nails this long, the cupcake tin, it kind of gets a little bit messy. Um, so I really like this. I don't, I cannot find, um, I can't find it anywhere online. I even looked on AliExpress. So unfortunately, I don't have a link for you guys for that. But if you do see it somewhere, definitely pick that up if you like to do your dip powder with um, long, long nails. So here I'm going in with the primer, which I don't really think is necessary because I've already, um, the primer is just to dehydrate the nails and that would be more for your natural nail plate. So I went in with the primer and completely forgot what nails I went in on because I only wanted to do it on the ones I'm doing the blue. Completely forgot. I don't think it makes a difference unless you're doing it starting on your natural nail plate. Um, I would not put this color. I would do a couple layers of clear. I would do a barrier between my natural nail and any colored acrylic, any colored dip powder, any color poly gel, anything with color in it. I would always, um, I like to go in with some sort of barrier in between that. If you want to do a couple layers of the base coat, a couple layers of acrylic, however, just don't put that on your natural nail. It may stain it. And when you're trying to remove it, you may overfile and end up digging into your natural nail plate, which is not good. So here I'm just applying the dip powder, um, trying to get my base coat in even layers, which I'm not always successful at, but that's fine. You can always just go in and file that. I'm trying to keep the cuticle area clean and the side walls clean, which I actually did a really good job this time at that. Um, also, you can go in with like a toothpick or orange wood stick after you dip before it dries and just clean that area up. Um, again, I did say that these are pigmented or the base coat does pick up a lot of the dip powder. I did go in with two coats just because my layers weren't as clear and they weren't, um, there was a little bit of powder missing from my side walls and my cuticle areas. So... Do what you want. If you want to do two, then do two. If you want to do one, then just do one. It's really up to you. Okay, so after the second layer, I am going to clean out this little tray and I just take a napkin and some alcohol and just wipe out the excess powder and then just go ahead and go in with my next color. The color that I'm using, I'm going to be using the gray and put that on two nails and on that I'm also going to do two coats as well.
Okay, so after I did the two coats, I dusted off all the excess powder and then I went in with the activator, let that dry, filed and shaped my nails. I did do that off camera. Um, you guys didn't want me doing that in camera. I was struggling staying in frame in this video and that's because I broke my phone mount. I did order another one, so I totally had to rig it <laughs> to record this video, but I do have another one coming. I think it comes today from Amazon, so sorry about that, guys, but thanks for sticking with me because I've been kind of a mess lately. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of bling, and I don't remember where I got this bling from, probably AliExpress, but it's just a mixture of different shapes and sizes of crystals. The rhinestone glue that I'm using is from Beatles, and I did feature that in a haul video. I will, um, I have added that kit to my Amazon storefront. So it comes with the gel, the pot of gel. It comes with two gel brushes, and then it comes with a wax pencil. So here I'm just going in with, I'm not going to use the gel brushes because I already have so many gel brushes that I've already used. So I'll probably add those gel brushes to a giveaway or something. I don't like to open everything if I already have a couple of them open. I open, I feel like that's wasteful. And I do like to give, when I'm doing like a grab bag giveaway, I do like to add some tools into my giveaways as well. So I thought I was going to use these small little micro beads that you see all over my table, whatever, but they're really, really small. I really was kind of trying to do like the caviar beads like in between, but these are like just way too small for that. Like these would kind of be like if I was going to sugar, sugar the nail, I think these would be good for that. But you guys know I don't do too much bling on myself, so just bear with me. So I did do one layer of the... The rhinestone glue, I did not cure it and I immediately went in with my top coat, it did not cure that. So once I got the rhinestones it, um, on the nail to my liking, then I went in and cured. And <laughs> the genius that I am, I was gonna do that on this nail as well, but I forgot to put the top coat. So just, yeah, just bear with me. And then, um, I ended up taking off that little S-shaped rhinestone. I just didn't like it. And I ended up replacing that with a heart, which I liked a lot better. So at the time that I'm doing my voiceover for this video, these rhinestones have been on for a week and they are driving me crazy because I don't like textured nails. Um, I'm really plain when it comes to my own nails. Um, so, but the, I say that to say that this rhinestone glue is holding up really, really well. I wash my hands about a billion times a day. Um, the hand sanitizer, I don't know if like the hand sanitizer would like break down the glue because it has alcohol. I don't know. But, and then I use a lot of lotion and oils or whatever. So basically I'm a week on with these rhinestones and they are hanging strong so i'm probably going to take these off in the next day or so i think i want to do a short set with the full coverage tips and acrylic that's what i think i want one of my next videos to be so anyways after i get the rhinestones adhered into my liking i do cure that and then i go back with the top coat and i top coat everything and um I don't know, I was kind of thinking of giving my nails a break because you can just see how dry my skin is. I don't know if everyone else's skin is dry. I've been doing my normal routine, my cuticle oil that you could find on my website twice a day, layering it with my lotion. Um, but I think the change in the weather and just all this hand washing, I I don't know, I don't wanna do cuticle oil three times a day, um, but maybe I'll get a thicker cream. I am out of my cuticle butters, which you can use as a cream. Shouts out to Addicted to Pink Nails. Um, <laughs> she uses it for everything. I am out of that, and I am going to make another few batches and restock my website with those for the winter months. Anyways, um, I'm rambling at this point. So I'm just going to top coat these, cure these for two minutes. You guys know I like to cure that top coat a little bit longer. And I will show you the finished set. I do like how these turned out. I do think the dip powder is okay. I bought this kit. It was on sale. Um, 
I am on Amazon right now and it still is on sale. As far as this kit goes, I do like the liquids more than I like the powder, but you can use the powder in multiple ways. So, you know, you guys be the judge if you feel like it's worth it. Again, I did get this on sale and it's still currently on sale. So definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I, as always, appreciate you spending your time with me. Make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I will talk to you guys again soon.